You have likely seen videos of cruise ships rocking back and forth. This is often caused by a problem with the stabilizers, which are a system on the ship that helps to keep it steady. So, how do these stabilizers function? Let's consider the behavior of a typical cruise ship in calm water. When the water is calm, the ship will remain upright due to the proper alignment of its center of gravity and center of buoyancy. However, if there are waves in the sea, the ship will start to move in response to them. The larger the waves and their wavelengths, the more the ship will roll from side to side. This is because as the water on one side of the ship rises, the ship becomes more buoyant on that side, which creates a force that causes the ship to tilt. So, a ship will usually roll gently while riding waves, except in the case of synchronous rolling. This occurs when the frequency of the wave matches the natural frequency of the ship's roll, causing the angle of roll to rapidly increase and potentially leading to the ship capsizing. Gentle rolling is not typically a problem on other types of ships, but on a cruise ship, passengers expect to be able to place a glass of wine on a table without spilling it due to the ship's movement. To prevent the ship from rolling and spilling drinks, cruise ships are equipped with stabilizers. The purpose of a stabilizer is to keep the ship upright as waves pass underneath it by counteracting the force that the waves create. However, this force is not constant as the crest of the wave moves across the ship causing the tipping force to vary. The stabilizer must be able to adjust the amount of force it produces in response to the constantly changing position of the wave in order to effectively keep the ship stable. The ship industry has developed several types of stabilizers that can be classified into two categories, active and passive. Bilge keels are an example of passive stabilizers. They are protrusions on the hull of the ship that help to dampen rolling by creating turbulence as they move up and down. While they are effective at reducing rolling to some extent, they are not powerful enough to adequately counter the forces that can cause a cruise ship to tip. They are an inexpensive option, but are not suitable for use on cruise ships. Bilge keels are commonly found on other types of ships due to their low cost of installation. Another method to prevent rolling are passive anti-roll tanks installed at the edges of the ship. These tanks are connected by crossover pipes that allow fluid to flow between them. When the ship tilts in one direction, the fluid in the lower tank increases, adding weight to that side of the ship. If the flow of fluid can be controlled properly, it can help to counter the rolling motion as waves pass underneath the ship. This system can be made semi-active by adding additional controls, or it can be made fully active by adding pumps and a gyroscopic stabilization system to pump fluid between tanks as needed. While fully active systems are effective at stabilizing ships, they do have a delay in their response time and may not provide instant stabilization. So, what is the best stabilizing system for a cruise ship? Thin stabilizers are the most commonly used system for these ships. They consist of hydraulically operated wings that extend underwater and can be adjusted to change the direction they are facing. This allows them to counter the rolling motion caused by waves or other factors. Fin stabilizers are similar in appearance to bilge keels, but they are able to change the angle at which they are facing, which bilge keels cannot do. When a fin is rotated, the direction of the force it creates in the water changes. By turning it one way, a large force is generated in one direction. When it is turned the other way, the direction of the force is instantly reversed. By using gyroscopic control to properly adjust the angle of the fin, it is possible to counter the force of the waves or other factors that may cause the ship to roll. This allows the fin stabilizer to effectively stabilize the ship. One disadvantage of fin stabilizers is that they require the ship to be in motion and have a minimum water flow speed in order to generate a sufficient riding force. Below this speed, the fin stabilizers may not be effective at stabilizing the ship. Most cruise ships have sufficient speed for fin stabilizers to be effective, so they are not a concern while the ship is in operation. However, Cargo ships generally have slower speeds and do not typically use fin stabilizers. There are some container vessels that do use fin stabilizers, but only if their typical cruising speeds are fast enough to fully utilize their benefits. 
I hope this video has helped you understand more about how ship stabilizers work. Want to see more content? Hit the subscribe button.